everybody, this is Allie, and I'm with you today to film my TBR list, my to-be-read list for December. I can't believe it's already December and it's almost Christmas. So excited! Love Christmas time. Pretty much my favorite time of year. And not because of Christmas presents, but I love to decorate. My whole house will be decorated here very soon, probably tonight, actually. Hoping to put up my tree. But anyway, let's film the TBR, TBR list. Um, first off is a book that you all know. I know everybody does. Um, it is actually the second book in a series. Um, it's actually the Hunger Games series. I am reading Catching Fire. I am trying to finish this. This is a must, must, must read for December. Um, I read this series with my boyfriend, and we read Hunger Games in just a couple of weeks, and <laughs> this one is taking a little bit longer because life gets in the way. But anyway, this is a definite must-finish-in-December book for me. The next two books are for tours that are going to be on the blog. Um, the first one is Kimberly by Kimberly S. Lynn. It's called Recession Proof, and I'm actually in the middle of this and loving every minute of it. She's hilarious in this book. If you haven't read it, you should. Next one is a must-read. It's a blog tour on the book also, or on the blog also. It's called Thank You for Flying Air Zoe by Eric Atwell. Definite going to be reading in December. All right, the next three books are a have to read in December as well. Um, I've been dying to read this book. It's called Wherever You Go by Heather Davis. I love the cover, and I have an art copy, and I cannot wait to read this. I'm dying. But this is a must read in December. Next, I have two books that are in the same series, and I feel really bad. The author sent me these books, and I haven't gotten to them. I mean, I've read half of the first one, but that's all I've gotten to. Um, crazy Holidays and everything. But um, these two books are by Don Dyson. They are a must-read in December. I am definitely going to be finishing Bella Mora, and the review will be posted as soon as I do. It's by Don Dyson. She actually signed both these books, and I thank her so very much, Don. I promise I did not forget about you. These are going to be on my um, absolutely have to finish for December, and her second book is called Justice Quinn. Love the covers. Love the books. Cannot wait to finish. Have to in December, no matter what. All right, the next five books are ones that I want to start in December and read, but they might be pushed back to January. Let's cross your fingers that at least two of them can get done. Whoa. All right, the first one is called Sophie and Carter's by Chelsea Fine. Should be an easy read. It's not very long. Beautiful looking book. Cannot wait to read. And I'm hoping, hoping, crossing my fingers that I can get her next book because it's amazing and beautiful. But that is a hopefully going to be able to read in December. Might be pushed back to the very beginning of January. Cross your fingers. Let's hope I can read it. Hope I get all the other ones done. I can read some of these. Um, the next one is by Felicia Rogers. It's called The Key. Looks incredible. Cannot wait to read. Hopefully, like um, Sophia Carter. I hope I can get to this one in December as well. The next one is called The Healers by Sabrina Firminger. I hope I said your name right. Um, but this is the next book, another one that I'm hoping to get to December, and if not, push back to the very beginning of January. The next one, a couple of, uh, next one is called The Fugitive's Doc Doctor. It's by Deidre Elizabeth Parker. I'm going to be reading this one probably end of December, beginning of January. And then the next one is A Wedding Invitation by Alice J. Whistler. I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that I can get to this one even in December as well. Um, cross your fingers with me, please. I really would like to get to all of these in December. Um, a couple of those won't be reviewed on the blog, but will be reviewed on Goodreads, Library Things, Amazon, all the others. But they're a little bit more adult than what I want to do on the blog. All right, now I'm trying to stick to young adult books on the blog only. And sometimes I might push an adult book. It depends on how good it is. Um, so, with all that being said, that is my to-be-read list for December. What is on your to-be-read list? Seriously, I would love to know. Um, leave comments. You can even link it to your to-be-read list. I don't mind if you do that on your comments. All right. I hope everybody has a great week, and I'll see you next time with the to-be-read list next month. And happy reading. Bye. Hmm.